guys, happy Friday. It's about 9.15, almost 9.20, oh man, I hope I'm not late. Okay, this is gonna be a super brief check-in because I wanted to say hi to you guys. I wanted to document the fun I'm about to get into. Okay, so, in a nutshell, I have a girlfriend blind date right now. I know, I should have worn makeup, but I got a phone call and it's one of those phone calls where like you don't want to pick it up but you know you have to because you've already declined their call like 17 times so you're like okay I'm gonna enforce my boundaries I know what I'm doing I'm strong I can do this and you fail so you lose about an hour of your time that you had planned very strategically so that you could get cute for your girlfriend date <sighs> all right so it says I'm gonna be two and it's early I sure hope so all right, so on my lips is the e.l.f. lip oil in Honey Talks. If you haven't seen these, I think they are Ulta exclusive and I think they're in store online. What did I do? I did a drive up pickup. So they are Ulta exclusive, but you can get them in store or online as well. They're a little expensive for e.l.f. products. I think they're $6 or $8 which is a little weird, you know, cause Elf is like three, four bucks. But since they went cruelty free and vegan and like sustainable packaging and stuff like that, their prices did go up a little bit plus recession. You know, this is what we talk about now cause we're adults. Also, I didn't have enough time to fix my hair. So I just put a bunch of curl enhancing cream in it and like jet it out the door. Oh, I'm about to get hit. And uh, okay, so. I am in the PTA. I never thought I would say that out. I never thought I, I would say that, let alone out loud. So I'm in the PTA and I'm also the parent, like the room parent for my son's classroom. So any sort of like party organi organizing or correspondence or whatever, like you get it from me. So one of the parents actually took my email and sent me an email privately in Spanish. And she was like, hey, I really wanna help, but I, I don't feel like I've dominated English very well yet. I don't know if you say dominated in English. In Spanish, it's the literal translation. You say dominar, like you dominate a language. I don't think you use it in that context in English. Anyway, so she sent me an email and she was like, you know, I'm a little nervous, but I really want to help and blah, blah, blah. She gave me her phone number. So I text her and she asked me a whole bunch of questions like, how do we do this? How do we do that? Blah, blah, blah. How can I help? Whatever. And I was just, you know, answering her questions. For me, there's nothing that I, one of the things in this world that I really thrive on and really enjoy is feeling useful, you know, and I know that's trauma response my importance or validation comes from feeling useful while I have healed extensively from that it's still gonna be like super soothing to my inner child so I'm gonna jump on any opportunity that I can to be useful without overextending myself that I've learned the hard way as an adult but I can I can do it now you know I can say no I can't do that I have a deadline no I can't do that I don't want to <laughs> uh, no thank you like I'm pretty good at knowing my limits with certain things probably not with like my inner circle but we're, we're working on it so anyway uh, she asked me a bunch of questions and I was you know I was just I was just being me. I wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary or I wasn't grooming her or anything, which is why I guess I'm so excited about it. And at the very end of our conversation, she was like, I guess they're transplants. They just moved here from Mexico City. And so, you know, they're just getting familiar with everything. And I think given the context of the situation, it probably must have felt really nice to have someone that is capable of answering all your questions, you know? So at the end of the conversation, she was like, hey, another one of the moms in our classroom and two other girls and I are having breakfast on Friday, or rather tomorrow, this was yesterday. Like this was last minute, you guys. <laughs> I do last minute plans, what? So she was like, we're having breakfast tomorrow, we'd love for you to join us. And I was like, I opened my calendar. Usually my calendar looks like a rainbow vomit of so many things we need to do for all the kids and Parker and me and whatever, the dogs. And so I opened the calendar, there's like nothing on it except for a meeting at noon. So I was like, okay, 
I'm feeling adventurous. I'm doing something new. You know, I'm not going to do any New Year's resolutions. I'm not going to do, you know, you have three weeks left in the year to like make an impact. You know, those ridiculous goals that like pigeonhole you into like, what have you done to show that you were worth living for this year? You know, like, no, it's just, it's the end of the year, whatever. I tried my best and you know what I'm going to do next year? I'm going to try my best again. <laughs> so I branched out and I said, sure, why not? I'm doing it. So that's what we're doing right now. And hopefully I can find the hair that's on my lip because it's going to make me have an accident. I'm not going to make it there. So, yeah, they invited me to breakfast. I don't know any of them. <laughs> I've emailed with one, which is the other mom she told me is in the same classroom as my son, her, her daughter, and then her, but we've just text, and then the other two are complete strangers. So, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified because I suck at making friends. People don't usually like me. I'm like a very unique indie music, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I just don't have good experience in that regard, so I'm so nervous, but so excited, and hoping for the best. I mean, that's all you can do, right, is, is, is hope for the best. So I'm trying something new, I'm hoping for the best. We have kids that are the same age, and we speak the same language. They are Mexican, and that is super, well, I can't say they, because I, I only know for a fact one of them is from Mexico. So, I don't know. I mean, hopefully optimistic, I guess you can say, right? I'm just gonna park right here. That way, I can get out in a pinch if I'm running late for my meeting. So anyway, you guys, I left you completely hanging last weekend when it, uh, we were talking about the bathroom. I was like, oh, I've healed enough. I can talk about the bathroom. No, I can't. I was talking to Katie about this, my hairdresser. I was like, you know, not enough time has gone by where I can just fully enjoy my bathroom. I'm not there yet. I'm really not there yet. I can't enjoy it yet because uh, they made it so hard for us and they were so quick to collect at the end and or like the final payment they 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 gave us like the estimate of what it was going to be and then we divided it into thirds so like they got their money right up front a third and then halfway through the project which was around three weeks keep in mind the project took 15 weeks they got the second and the final installment they wanted it like three minutes after they finished the last thing that they did wrong so I I'm gonna show you guys in this vlog it's a pr it's a promise it's a guarantee I'll do a little before and after just to give you guys a refresh and it's hard because I want to be able to show it to you guys like showing it to friends like oh my god I'm so excited and look I changed this and I designed this and they helped me design this but there's not that enthusiasm for it right now because it's just it was so hard for us it was so stressful now with my kitchen, you guys remember how hard that was. And I said it was hard because it was in the middle of our house. There was no way to avoid it and it affected everyone. This was kind of out of sight. It was out of the way. We were able to shower upstairs. Like we had options and to still have such a simple project turn so stressful. I just, I, I want to get to the place where I am with my kitchen now where I love my drawers and I love my stove and I love my this. And right now I'm just like, you guys are lucky you're here y'all this bathroom you're just lucky to be here right now that's how i feel i'm still a little passive aggressive about the whole thing anyway i am running a little bit behind it's 9 30 now i'm just i just need to go and go inside but i don't know i don't know who to look for i mean i know who to look for i don't know what they look like i wish i had done something with my face and my hair you know it's like a first impression but I told her, I was like, hey, so uh, what's the deal? Like, are we gonna go cute or are we gonna go ratchet? Cause I only have two levels. <laughs> She's like, well, I'm always in sweats. So I, try, I tried a little bit. I'm, just, I'm annoyed, you know, I'm annoyed like my time was taken from me, but I am incredibly surprised that even though this happens to me every day, I'm still surprised. It just, 
you would think I'd have it figured out by now, right? Do you guys remember that nail polish that was in my Olive in June advent calendar? Look how cute. I think it's called Elf. So pretty, right? It looks like gel. Anyway, I gotta go. This is it. Wish me luck. I can't wait to update you guys. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you guys what we're getting into tomorrow. You're gonna die. You guys, happy Saturday. It's about 11.30 fell off the face of the earth yesterday. I'll tell you why in a second, but. If you have littles, if you watch these vlogs with littles, there's gonna be some stuff that we talk about or that you see in the next, I don't know how long, and we wanna protect their little eyes and ears. So I am planning a surprise bachelorette party for our friend Isabel. Edom, I came over last night to help me decorate and get everything ready. So everyone's showing up within the next 30 minutes and then Isabel will show up a little bit later. She doesn't know we're doing this, so it's super exciting. But I wanted to show you sort of a little overview of everything that we've done. We're still waiting for a few decorations and that's gonna kind of show up with every, oh, do you have something to say right now? Is there? Would you like to contribute something? You would, okay, well, all right, she's a little miss. You can see the, the mayhem behind us. So basically what we did uh, was a theme called Isabel's Wiener Fiesta. You know, because it's a bachelorette party and so it has to be a little trashy but also kind of cute. So we went with the Fiesta theme. Let me show you what Isabel's gonna get when she shows up, what it's gonna look like, but Look who's here. Look at this. Who's this delicious lady? <laughs> All right, so when Miss Isabel walks in, boom, we have a little setup and decoration. Keep in mind, all of this, like 99% of it was like all DIY. Then I have this in here because Roomba was vacuuming. We DIY'd a wiener pinata. So we're gonna put her there. I have to say, I'm very proud of my husband. He's the one that sourced the pinata. And uh, I just printed wiener stickers and put it all over the piñata. So we're gonna do that later. Then, look at these. Got a little wiener swirls. So I had these already from a party we did for uh, Parker's birthday. And so I took the ones that were like non-fiesta looking and I covered them with these kinds of wieners. So then we have little, see these are the originals. So margaritas, piñata. Fiesta time. Then we're gonna play a bunch of games. And so for the games, these are the goodie bags. So whoever wins gets to pick a mysterious bag that's just full of mysteriousness. Edema was so, so creative. She found this. It's a sombrero veil. How cute is that? So these are our favor bags. So each of the ladies is gonna get like a, a burlap, burlap bag and Oh, here's a, this is gonna be our stripper for the day and also our grill master. <laughs> uh, Parker was sweet. He came home from work to grill the meat and then he's gonna go back to work. Are we kicking you out or are you leaving on your own recognizance? I'm the man of this house and I'll leave when I want to. Okay, there you go. As soon as possible. As soon as possible? <laughs> so I'll show you guys what's in here. So these are our little, uh, can someone get the door? I think somebody's here. So then we got little tumbler so that we stay nice and hydrated. Banners, banners everywhere. Say hello, look here's another, here's another little setup of decoration. Then we did a board and we're all gonna add like real marriage advice for the bride. So we'll all add stickers. These were, this is my contribution. <laughs> look, I asked Parker yesterday, I was like, hey, you know, do you think Oh wow, my watch is dirty. Do you think there's, do you think it's too much wieners? And you know what he said? He's like, no. I don't think you can have too many wieners, baby. Go big or go home. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Who's here? Hi. That's Miss Gina. Look at this baby pinata. We need a little drink carousel. Okay. Got some peanuts. This is, this is cute too. That's nice. Got some plates on Amazon. All this stuff is from Amazon. Like either I did it or it's from Amazon. So I'll try and link a lot of this stuff. Edema also found this little banner and I love it because it's felt. So you know that's reusable. This is a toiletry organizer that I had under Parker's sink. 
And we're just using it today for our drinks with some markers. But the thing that Irma and I are the most proud of is this. Look at this. We've never done a balloon garland, but we did it last night. The margaritas helped a lot for sure. And then look, boom, banners, banners, banners. Look at this. Pretty proud of this myself too. I made this banner. Isabel's Wiener Fiesta. And all these wiener stickers on everything. Hold on. He just doesn't want to stick. There we go. There we go. More stuff. We got some hangover um, patches. Haven't tried these before, but we're we're all about experimenting here. So we're gonna we're gonna experiment on these and I'll let you know tomorrow if they worked. A couple of games in case we want to play games. And then there, oh, here's another penis sticker. <laughs> I got this bridal shower loteria game on Etsy. So you buy it digitally and just print it out. And so we got a little game. And these are the chips that we normally use for when we play regular loteria at the house. And then I DIY this, a game. It's called Who Has the Groom? So basically, Everyone gets a quarter and you scratch off the face and whoever has Isabel's fiance on it wins. So each of these has a celebrity <laughs> face underneath. There's only one that's like a dead giveaway and that's the one I'm gonna get so that I don't get a prize, you know? So that's that was my clue. It's gonna be my card. So we got that game there. And then I also did this game. This is the last one that I DIY'd myself. And so Isabel's gonna be the answer key. And so you answer what you think her, her choice would be. Like is she diamonds or pearls, jeans or yoga pants, Target or Walmart? And then, you know, whoever gets the most correct wins. I got some pens for that. So that's the update. I'll try to show you guys a little bit here and there of what we get into today. Like we got matching shirts. They're not all the same. They're the same color, but they all have like a different funny Fiesta saying on them. So once we put on all our shirts, I'll show you guys that. But that's the update for today. I haven't forgotten. I have to update you guys on yesterday. All I'm gonna say is God's plan, y'all. Oh my gosh. And also, what else? The bathroom. I have to show you the bathroom. I promised I would do that. I'm doing it. But right now, there's just something missing here, you know? And I gotta go hang out with my friends. <laughs>
I'm gonna need you to zoom in on this. Super fun penis yes. candy. You have to zoom in on the wiener. Hey, I got a fireball. <laughs> Are we excited about this? Yes, Here, you can have this one too. Ooh, Please I, kindly. What does it say? I didn't get it. Oh, I got a pin, but mine broke. I didn't get it. Left. I don't know what I did, but I'm bleeding. Oh my gosh! Oh my did you hit your sack? It doesn't hurt though, so that means I should probably drink water. She likes Show you. Sophia. Oh, but she she's just like, like that. So not too much. Like, get, get away. No, she won't bite you. She won't be unwelcome. I like her Mommy didn't though. give you a bow. <laughs> you need a bow. Yeah, she's just, just like. Oh. <laughs> she's like a cat. Pose. Like you're like you're, you're gonna cut. Yeah. You look at you. One, two, three. <laughs> She's like, am I doing it right? How do you? <laughs> That's a good one. The last. Gotta make all the wieners are in the picture. You gotta put all the wieners. Ready? Okay. Listo. No, I was talking to Paula. You're good. Ready? Oh, I already took it. You laughing? Happy uh -huh. birthday <laughs> to you. Happy, no? happy, happy wiener birthday. to you. Happy wiener to you. you. Happy wiener, dear oh, Isabel. Oh, I gotta get. Okay, ready. What is it? Yeah, she likes to sing. Go for it. Celine okay, Dion. Okay. I'm going to make it a rap, though. Okay, I have to prepare my vocals. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she was like, happy birthday. Whatever. No? I have a beautiful voice. Oh. I mean, my husband, I like that. No, you get the first piece. I need Isabel, a... That's yeah, that you, you get the first piece. piece. You, get the you first do. Piece. You cut. You the do the first cut, and the first piece is always one. for the I cake person. you doing that for me? Because you really wanted it. Mission accomplished. Which one? The one that I like. That's not a bribe. Yeah. I don't know what um. is. Oh my gosh, you guys. So much to update you. It is Thursday. The boys just went to school. Oh my God. So it has been nonstop for several months now between the bathroom and wrapping up with baseball and now we're picking up baseball again and the bridal slash bachelorette party, my birthday. So much so that I haven't even celebrated my birthday. Like there was no birthday celebration, nothing has been done properly. You all know how I feel about my birthday. But this year it seems almost like a forgotten day for me, for everyone. I mean, maybe two people remembered. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. If everyone even remotely feels half of how busy we've been, I totally get it. So now that we have pretty much navigated the bigger stuff, oh, oh no, I just felt something fall in between my, it was my necklace. Oh, I guess I just didn't tie, tie it properly because it's not even broken. So it's Thursday and I left you guys off on Saturday at our friend Isabel's bridal shower slash it's like a bachelorette party but I mean saying bachelorette party has like a negative connotation because you think you're like there's wieners everywhere and I mean there really was but aside from that it was just a bunch of girls eating drinking and playing some games so it was a pretty good time I think I may have a I think I may have a spot in like the party planning business you know because I realized how creative I was with stuff that I didn't know I was creative with. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that Isabel had a great time. I hope that she appreciated all the hard work and the effort that it took to do everything that we did and how long it took us to plan. So I almost was going to put away, this is mine. This is a birthday present from the boys like from a few years ago, but I was like, oh, this is a cute prop for the party since it was a wiener fiesta. But before I was gonna put away the stuff in the girls' favor bags, I was like, oh no, I can't unpack it because then I get to show my pandas what's in it. So the first thing is I got a six pack of burlap bags on Amazon, like real burlap. Aren't those beautiful? Even Parker said, wow, these tote bags look so pretty. And then I took a ribbon, just a random ribbon. I cut it and attached each of the girl's named tags to it. And for me, that was really important, A, because they got custom bracelets, and B, because 
at parties with drinking cups, drinking glasses, and things like that, it's important that you remember which one's yours. You know what I mean? And which stuff is yours, and not forget your stuff. We also did a pinata, so I told him, okay, everyone, grab your favor bags so that when we do the pinata, when the stuff falls out, which may or may not have been rude pens, mini fireballs, penis sweet tarts, I mean, you know, just obvious stuff that would be in a pinata. So I just, I accidentally printed these name tags on the wrong paper. I was trying to print them for something else, like for a game, and I accidentally printed them on this paper, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna make those the name tags for the bags. And then each of the girls, and this is why the name tag was important, each of the girls had bracelets that I made. So the non-brides had a bracelet that said Mamacita, and then a little heart. The gold beads are actually gold plated because you know I had to get bougie and then these are just polymer clay slices. So all of the non-brides had a mamacita bracelet and then each of them had a uh, star sign bracelet. So mine's a Sagittarius. It was gonna be more than half of the bracelet because I have baby wrists but everyone else has had like the full, like Taurus, Gemini, Libra, whatever. So each of them got their two bracelets, except the bride. So Isabel's, instead of saying mamacita, because she's the, how do you say it? Like the, she's the senorita, right? Like, so <laughs> we're the crew, she's the bride. So I put her future last name on her bracelet, but I don't think she liked that. She Maybe she pouted a little bit, but anyway, we're not gonna get into it. Every single one of us also had a little sombrero headband, which is so cute. I actually have one from last year when we celebrate Park Parker's birthday party, and I didn't know these were the same ones that Irma got. So she ordered this pack for all of us, and all of us had like a different color. The little sombrero shifts, so you can kind of wear it on whatever side of your head that you want. And then I also got us tumblers that says, uh, let's go girls on it. And I pre-filled them with water to make sure that everyone stayed hydrated and made responsible decisions because if you're 18, 19, 20, 21, whatever, watching this, you're like, water? Then you gotta go pee. But if you're over 40, then you're like, yes, cause I don't wanna die for the next seven days. So I filled these with water for the ladies. And then I also got them these, which I thought they were gonna bring like other stuff to drink, but we were kind of like, Poor Paola got turned into the bartender. And I specifically told everyone, I was like, everyone bring your own drink. So something that you would like to drink. But Paola was so sweet. She offered to make margaritas from scratch. Like, you know what kind of margaritas I make? The kind that you go <laughs> And so she offered to make them and I think everyone held her to it. And those were the only drinks that were there. So we never got to use our little koozies. And look at, cheers. <laughs> Just drunk, so I put my name on that one, but it's for bridesmaids, I guess, but the ones that we got were these, and then the bride got the white one. Same with this, adjustable hat. I loved this set because it said squad, so it didn't say bridesmaid, it didn't say for the bride, or anything wedding related. So after this event, after the wedding, after whatever, each of us can use this hat for whatever we want, and it's gold. Look at that. So I think it was a six pack of hats as well. One was white and then the rest were pink. And then I put a little container of sanitizer and tissue because I wasn't sure what we were gonna get into. You know, like with these kinds of parties, you can't really have a plan. Like you have to have some ideas and some games, but you gotta be prepared. And then I also, these are silly. I think I might just leave these on though for the rest of, of the vlog. Everyone got colored heart sunglasses. And there were like 20 different colors. So I just randomly put a pair in everybody's bag and we wore them. Oh, another thing that I wanna tell you guys is this tote bag, it's lined. Do you see that? Yeah, it's lined. So it's like waterproof on the inside, which is awesome because you still get the burlap look. You still get like the natural organic look, but it's waterproof on the inside and it also helps to kind of stiffen the burlap so it can actually stand as opposed to just like normal burlap. That was my burlap impression. And then I also DIY'd these little kits. So they're just these colorful, like holographic Ziploc bags that I found on Amazon. And on the front, they say, but did you die? And so when you open it up, it's hangover kit. You have some Altoids. You have two hair ties for obvious reasons. You have a little roll of Tums. 
you have a chapstick, you have a makeup remover wipe for all of those that got home after the party and could not muster up the effort to take out their cleanser. I also put in a little envelope or container or what are these called? Pouch of electrolyte powder. We have a stain wipe because the majority, if not all of my friends, spill food on themselves, I wanna say. Like, but like, it's a joke where they even admit it. Like, I don't wear white because I eat like an animal. So I put, <laughs> I thought that was cute, a little stain white. A little pouch of Advil, you can't go wrong with some ibuprofen. I also have some indigestion powder. If you've not tried this brand, it's at Walmart, you need to get it. It's from Mexico, it's called Picot. It's actually called Sal de Uvas Picot. It's basically Alka-Seltzer, but like, that works. So highly recommend that. And I think it's like $3 for 20 or something. We also have some chewable Pepto-Bismol in there. I included, just to be extra bouge, some eye patches. That could be during, before, after, whatever, save them for the wedding, I don't know. And then at the, la the last thing that I put was like kind of cute, but also kind of sarcastic, but also kind of serious, was like a little prayer card, which, it's, it's my humor, sorry guys. This is, this is who I am unapologetically me this is what you get there you go better look at the bag but did you die so that was in the bachelorette goodie bags i guess you can say and then we played a bunch of games and there were prizes and things like that i left you guys off on my blind friend date on friday so last friday man it's been a week last friday i was invited by a new mom at Daniel's school to have breakfast with her and her friends. And when I showed up on Friday, everyone was late. So I started to panic. And not because I feel some type of way about people's punctuality, I don't. I'm Mexican, I grew up with everyone always being late. I, I can't be late, like late is just, it doesn't work. It's not, I'm not allowed to be late. I can't do it, I can't function. It makes me feel mortified. It's just a me thing. But if I hang out with someone or I know someone that is late, I don't, I don't care. Like stuff happens, you know? But because I'm a traumatized little bird, when I was like, oh man, five minutes, 10 minutes, like nobody's here. I'm like, did I get the wrong location? I go back and I scroll and I'm like, no, this is the spot. Okay, did maybe the wrong date, like maybe it's next Friday. No, it can't be next Friday because the kids have an event for school. Okay, I'm just gonna hang tight. I'll give them maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes at the most because I had a meeting at noon. A couple of people walk in and out, in and out. I'm like, that's definitely not them, that's definitely not them. And then all of a sudden on the right side, two women like go, Bonnie? And I'm like, yeah, no, come here, sit with us, whatever. It wasn't the mom that I was actually like texting with. It was the other two moms that she said were gonna be there. And it's a small world because I had already talked to one of them via email, I think last year or last summer or something about, about the class. And so we just, I mean, we literally just met and we jumped into like hens, like <laughs> it was, it was beautiful, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know how to describe it without sounding super corny, super gushy, super ridiculous, but it was, it was awesome. It was amazing. Time flew by. If I did not have a really important meeting at noon, I would have stayed. And, or rather, I would have ditched. Like, if it, <laughs> if it wasn't an important meeting, if it had been something else, I would have totally ditched whatever it was. I would have been like, sorry, dentist but it was super important, I had to go, so it was really cool. They have another breakfast this Friday, tomorrow, and I have something going on with the kids, but if time lines up, I'm definitely gonna reach out and be like, hey, it just ran, like, it just uh, ended, just ran out. It just, <laughs> it, I haven't had my coffee today. Because I think that's what the problem is. <sighs> no, that's a lie. The problem is that our Ernie girl is not doing very well, and so I'm using glimmers and humor to cope with that because if I can manage my day in a more grateful and positive way, I think I can be a little bit more of what my baby girl needs right now, as opposed to just like, oh, you know, that just makes them feel even worse. So anyway, I wanted to share that highlight with you guys. Like I had to update you because making friends as an adult is hard, but 
it's almost like dating. You have to go out on a limb. You have to make yourself available. Like you literally have to make yourself available and, and it takes effort. I just had this conversation with Parker the other day and I was telling him, I'm like, you know, Paola, the one of the girlfriends that helped me arrange this bachelorette party, I was like, I've been friends with her, with her for almost 10 years. Like the amount of time that I was pregnant with Daniel plus his age is how long she and I have been friends because we both had babies about a week or a week and a half apart from each other. And we met each other at one of my meet and greets and we were both hella postpartum. And I was telling him, I'm like, I love this woman so much. And the only reason we don't hang out that often is because she lives so far away. And what have we been talking about? Everything that matters and it makes a difference and is worth it takes effort. So I think in the new year, one of my goals is to make an effort to see my friend Paola more often. So if she's watching this, I love you girl. She's just, she's the kind of woman you want in your circle, in your crew, in your family, in your, just, she's, she's a good human. It was nice to hang out with her for such a long time and, and just have that realization, you know, that distance shouldn't really matter how many people date long distance you know and they make it work so why can't i make this dating friendship work <laughs> way to make it weird and this is why we don't have friends anyway so breakfast was amazing the bridal shower was so much fun see how i called it bridal shower i think i'm ashamed of saying bachelorette i think that's what it is hmm are you looking at my new mug i collect pretty yeti colors this is what I do. So for Christmas or my birthday, if there's a cool new color, Parker gets it for me. I'm gonna let my camera cool down for a bit and then I'm gonna show you the bathroom because I promised I would. I'm really trying to find an excuse not to, but I'm a woman of my word and I will feel terrible if I don't. So we're going to, we're going to. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember what the bathroom looked like before. I'm pretty sure I showed you the moldy hole. Like, are you? We're getting ready for the holidays, okay? If you don't celebrate the holidays with random drinking games, then you probably shouldn't invite me over to your house. <laughs> I would invite myself over, by the way. <laughs> I, I think I remember, I remember showing you the moldy hole in the wall, like the, and then the mold in the cabinet. If you don't remember what the bathroom looked like, I'll insert a little before. How about here? And with some good music so that there's not that like, that negative tension behind the footage. You know what I mean? Like, so that you listen to it and it's like, mm -hmm, happy music. I'm totally just gonna voice over me showing you the bathroom with me doing this, this voice part right now.
anyway, that is a little before of how the bathroom looked. And now I'm gonna show you the after. I do not recommend this contractor. I am not in love with the work. I am just happy that I have a bathroom that works. I feel blessed that we were able to fix our bathroom. I feel fortunate enough that my husband has a job he does that despite being risky and dangerous, makes this world a little bit safer for all of us and allows us to be able to repair our home when things happen and not have to you know, freak out or have this moment of panic. So I will take that from it, but to say that the contractor is worth it, that they did a good job, that we had a good experience, that they did it when they were supposed to, that they use high quality materials, none of that. None of that, okay? So, let me show you my bathroom! <laughs> Take two, everyone! Welcome to my bathroom! Bum, bum, bum! I bet that it looks the same to almost every one of you until you see like the before and after or like the side by side. I almost guarantee it looks the same because we didn't change the footprint of anything. Like everything's in the same place. So when you walk in, the new tile that matches the kitchen, we bought enough tile to replace all the downstairs eventually at some point when we heal from all the trauma. In the half bath or like the toilet area, we added a head knocker. Before, I don't know if you remember, we just had that little it was almost like a walk-in head knocker, like it had little legs on the side. The boys have it now in their bathroom, so we added that, so that's permanent, it's fixed to the wall. We put our pictures back in the same place. We lightened the paint. The biggest change I would say is we removed that sort of like shelf lighting that it had. I don't know if you remember. It looked like eyebrows. It looked like the bathroom had eyes with eyebrows over the top and it was horrific. So we tore those down and we added more cam lights. The other big difference is that my vanity was low and it was an L and it was an L shaped mirror. And then there was like a medicine cabinet here on the wall. So now we kind of just filled it out, did a big linen closet, like huge. I mean, it's a huge, huge linen closet. Like it goes deep. So it's a really great place to no longer expose my perfumes to the elements, stuff like that. So we have a huge linen closet now. We knocked out the eyebrow lighting. We just put in this really cool LED lighting. So the mirrors are the same. They're just framed now. We have a thin little black matte frame around them, but they're the same type of cheap mirror, just a sheet of mirror stuck to a wall with glue. The counters, we obviously changed the counters. The ones we had before were actually like plastic and they were awful. Like they were really, really bad. This is quartz. It's like a man-made counter that looks like a rock, but it's just quartz. So it's like the most affordable type of real looking rock you can get. We raised the counters on my side so they would match Parker's. All these are extra drawers. These are the same poles that we had in the other bathroom. We just had them all removed and then had them reinstalled and that was a complete nightmare. The faucets are the same. We actually changed them in the old bathroom, so we asked them to keep them and put them in the new one. Another really big difference is we used to have a corner tub, and ideally, in a perfect world, we wanted to um, create space by removing the corner tub, because if you remember, it just went straight across, and, the, and it just locked in completely. It was a whole big, it looked like one of those tubs that, that had jets, but it didn't actually have jets. It just was a freaking eyesore. So we tried to create space, but the only way this tub would fit is in the same position. So did we create space? Visually, yes, but not literally. <laughs> so we just changed out the tub. That's the same fixture we had on the other tub. The same towel holders that we had. This is new, this just sticks on the wall. I bought them on Amazon because I had nowhere to put my like turby twist for my hair. Then same towel bar. We actually added a towel bar on this side so that Parker can hang his towel as well. This we had already, but we had it right there, like in the middle of the room for extra towels. And it, it didn't look bad, but now we can actually put it here. So you see how I mean like it didn't really create that much space, but we got more space. 
and it looks pretty and it's modern and it's brought up to you know whatever's cool now this is Parker's side almost nothing of his vanity changed the shape of the sinks changed we have rectangles now I think there were ovals before his lights a little smaller Tell me if you notice. If you don't notice, don't say anything. If you notice, don't say anything. If you do notice, don't say anything. How about just don't say anything, period? This is, this is, you know when you're like so defeated and you could be in the middle of an argument, a fight or something and you know something is like extraordinarily incorrect. It's wrong. But you are so defeated and so deflated that you just let it go. We let it go. We did. We're not gonna talk about how it's like three inches off center, but it doesn't matter, it's over, it's fine. This thing here is the cause of the flooding, the cause of the leak, the cause of the mold. The shower is the reason we redid the entire bathroom. The shower is also the biggest reason this project took as long as it did. So if you guys remember, we had, this is called a pony wall. So the pony wall came out a little bit further and then we also had pony wall on this side all the way down. But this glass was in further. So right now this shower goes all the way out to the bathroom. Before it was in a little deeper. So we wanted to grow the shower. We thought, hell yeah, if we're already gonna redo our bathroom, we might as well upgrade it and make a big sexy shower that leaks everywhere. <laughs> So this is our shower. <laughs> we upgraded our shower, so we kept the same shower head. We added a diverter so that we could have this little extra shower hose so that I could give Mern showers in here and she loves it. So this thing kind of goes up and down. Actually, I'll show you. So, don't look at my cognac sponge. So this thing goes up and down and you know, you can do low shower, shower, whatever, high, low, your back, blah, blah, blah. These are the same little hooks that I was telling you about from Amazon. So good, you guys, so good. Highly recommend they come in a four pack. And this matte black squeegee, same thing. I think it's like 12 inches long, so it's perfect for a really big space. Love that thing. Don't love the shower. Definitely love the pebble on the floor. Look how cute that is. So cute, you can't even feel it when you walk on it. I know some of you are gonna ask, but you can't. But yeah, this is the shower that still spits out water, so we just keep a towel here and make it look classy. There you go. I know, bath mats from Amazon. I try to do something different from Shag, and I'm still not sold on these, but they are super comfortable. Parker really liked them, and I think it's because they're a little more masculine, and that's what he likes. For me, I'm always more like soft, delicate, feminine touches, but so far, so far so good. So if you were just as invested as I was in this bathroom renovation, that's the update. Are we still talking about it in therapy? No, not anymore, just with my friends. <laughs> that's you, you guys are my friends, in case you were wondering. I was like, wait, hold on, I don't think they know that. Just, just with you guys. Yeah, but it's still gonna take a minute. Still gonna take a minute before I'm like, I love it, like I do my kitchen right now. Gotta open these back up. Are any of you guys like natural light fiends? Meaning the minute you wake up, you open all your curtains and blinds. Like I need, I need daylight. And right now, because it's winter, we have shorter days. I'm like, I need to charge my batteries. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay, there we go. It's like broop. There's no daylight. Oh, that, that's my favorite. That's my favorite right there. Or you know what else? I think we've talked about this before, but my other favorite is when you park somewhere, you get back in your car, your car's really hot. I sit there. I just sit there in the warm car. I just let like my old lady bones defrost a little bit. Mm -hmm. One of my top 20 favorite things to do in this world. That's a big statement. Anyway, now that you have seen the bathroom, we can take a step forward together on this healing journey where hopefully we can get to a place where we talk about it and look back and laugh. Just, ha <laughs> do you remember when the bathroom flooded? And then do you remember when they did it and then it flooded again? Like, hopefully we can get there together. Now is not the time. You know what the time is now? The time right now is for Christmas, New Year's, 
not making irrational New Year's resolutions. I would like for us to take a step into getting mentally prepared for the new year, but the new year in a very gentle way. Like, I don't need to have big outlandish goals. I just want a soft start. You know, I just want to just like gently walk into 2024. Hey, look, it was my year of healing. Hey, look, I learned a lot of cool new things. I'm not gonna put myself up to these large, grandiose challenges for next year. I just wanna be happy. I just wanna have good boundaries. I wanna have good, happy, healthy dogs. I wanna appreciate the things that I have, and I wanna take time on the things that I wanna take time on. You know, it's this like fast pace, like have goals, have results, give, you know, something to show for it. I just wanna be happy being. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's a good goal. It's some, I'm gonna be happy when I lose 20 pounds. I'm gonna be happy when I reach 100, for me it was 100 classes in Pilates. I got to 100 and I was like, and, and then what? <laughs> I'm gonna be happy when I get my six pack back. I'm gonna be happy when I finish my degree. I'm gonna be happy when I finally get married. I'm gonna be, bro. Why can't you just be happy now? And then you can just be happier when you get married and you can be happier if you get your six pack and you can be happier if, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't use your happiness as leverage. Do not use your goals as a reward system. Be happy now. And anything else that comes after, bonus, amazing, extra happy. You know what I mean? Like, why are we, why do we create these like self-manifested timestamps or goals for ourselves? Yeah, I get it. Maybe it's cultural, maybe it's society, maybe it's ourselves, whatever. But don't add to it, you know? Like don't, don't contribute to that negativity. You deserve better. So right now in this moment, what's going well? What are you happy for? What are you feeling blessed about? Okay, take that, feel it, enjoy it. And if and when you meet a goal that you have, awesome add it to your list, you know what I mean? But in this very moment, take a pause, take a break, take a minute to see what do I have? What do I feel grateful for? What do I feel blessed about? What have I accomplished? Holy <laughs> if I told you guys about the therapy session that I had with my therapist last week, I go once a week by the way, especially during the end of the year. And I'll tell you in another vlog because I think this vlog's already gonna be about an hour, but remind me to tell you guys in another vlog. But basically, it was just like, I can't celebrate my accomplishments because I feel like they're being held captive by if I had had a different life, if something else had happened to me. So I can't, I can't give myself credit for what I've done. And it's like, yes you can. <laughs> So that's what I want you guys to do now is to just take a minute, to take a moment, to reflect on the goals that you have, reflect on the things that you wanna accomplish, reflect on what you've been meaning to do, buy, purchase, budget for, a degree you wanna get, a goal you have for your health and, and, and fitness or wellness, anything. It could be making adult friends, just any as small, as big, as, as, as tiny, as random, as, dramatic as life changing as his goal is it doesn't matter think of those goals that you have and then pause for a second and think of two or three things that in this very moment if you were not to accomplish those goals you're still happy for feel grateful about feel blessed for they don't cancel each other out and they don't deserve to be held captive or prisoner of you reaching this goal. They can coexist. So if you needed permission, and I'm not saying I'm the permission grantor because I'm just little me on the internet, but if you were looking for a sign, if you needed for permission, this is your sign that says, celebrate what you've done. Celebrate the moment you're in. Be grateful for where you are. Feel blessed for what you've accomplished, where you are, what you mean in this world. And then everything else, is gonna be f fireworks. I feel good about ending the vlog now. You know, like this vlog, it feels finally like it came together. I can finally edit it and upload it in a few days. My sweater's from Target, by the way. I see you looking. It feels like cashmere. It's not, it's from Target. <laughs>
So if you want to feel like you're wearing cashmere, you have a problem with sleeves. This is a medium, by the way. And uh, you want to be able to wash it like it's not cashmere. There's this like new kind of sweater at Target that's like a cashmere dupe. I don't know what it's called, but I'll link it and I'm sure once you click on that, it'll recommend all the other colors in case you don't want yours to say cozy in neon letters. Why wouldn't you? You know? Anyway, that is it for this vlog. I appreciate you guys always listening to my random pontification about life. I always somehow manage to do that. If you're here for that, I appreciate you. If you're not, I'm sorry. That is it for this vlog. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Anything and everything that you saw from the bachelorette party decorations to my new Yeti color to my non-cashmere cashmere sweater, all of that stuff, except anything having to do with the bathroom, will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. <laughs> are falling asleep <laughs> anyway i love you guys so much and you know what to do if you found this video useful entertaining and learned something please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over <laughs> bye guys <laughs>